Alright everyone, welcome back to part three of the cellar slash bottle collection. So here we go. Arcady Ales Barrel Age Shipwreck Porter. Thanks to Daniel for sending that out. Uh, so my relatives got me some, a couple uh, six pack of uh, Dark Horse Scotty Karate when they're out in Michigan. So I have two of those. Another Lost Abbey Mobetta Bretta. There's two bottles of Bell's Expedition from 2012. A couple bottles of Green Flash Friendship Brew that I won in a raffle. 2012 Red Poppy. Got a non brick Westy 12. Rayon Vert. And a new batch 2013 of Frambois de Amorosa. So that is it for this box. Okay, moving on to this kind of interesting collection uh, Fuller's Vintage Ale from 2009. Porcine Unidragon from Clown Shoes. I reviewed that. I want to see what it does with age. Stone Highway 78 Scotch Ale. This is the Wagner blend. They did two versions of this. I'll show you the other one here. Oops, not that one. This one's the uh, the, uh, the Brewers blend. Chuck, Jeff, and Mitch. That was a Stone 15th anniversary in Lowland Scotch barrels, and then I have a Highland Scotch barrel version there, and we'll keep it with the Stone theme. 2010 Old Guardian and Bourbon barrels. Uh, let's see, 2012 Stone IRS is there. The Shoots Black View 24, delicious beer. Just seeing how this uh, ages, Bows Point Ton Buckler. This is really, really hoppy fresh, but could turn a nice barley wine. Block 15 Golden Canary. I haven't tried that yet. And then a 2013 Sea Monster. This beer does pretty well with a few years of age on it. Next up, we have Phantom's Boo. Um, I'm gonna let that age. 2012 Stone IRS, told you about a lot of that. 2012 batch of Two Old Snowball Saison, great beer. Get it if you can. More 2012 Stone IRS, keep the stone thing going, Vertical Epic 12. Cascades uh, Noyu or Noyu. Excellent, excellent beer, might be one of the best ones they do. 2013 Cigar City Hunapoos. Two bottles of Alesmith Barrel Aged Wee Heavy. Delicious, delicious beer. There's the other one. I think my lone bottle of mead, Moodlight Meadery's Utopian. This mead is aged in Samuel Adams Utopia's barrels. And I have two bottles with an opener from Carl Strauss. 24th anniversary beer. Bought those at the, the release party. Came with the opener, which is cool. All right, so we'll start off this box with Elsman Speedway Stout. This is the Kopi Luwak coffee version. I believe this is a 2011 Melange number three. Not entirely sure, I'll have to check on that. Stone 16th anniversary, just to see what it'll do with some age. Grand F Funk Ale Rose, batch 50 for the brewery. 2011 Trader Joe's Vintage Ale, it's a Unibrew beer. It's a local nano brewery, did a, a barrel aged uh, Rye Imperial Stout. This is the blended version from Hess. 2011 bottle of Tool Snowball, Saison. Anchorage Galaxy from the, uh, that's the original batch of that. Full Sail Top Sail, that's their Bourbon Barrel Aged Porter from 2010. Stone Vertical Epic, 11-11-11. This is the Ailsmith 2011 Decadence, that was the Maple Smoked Barley Wine. Uh, this is an excellent beer. And another Deschutes Black Butte 24. All right, box number 15. We have three white oaks from the brewery. They're all 2012s. Didn't buy in the new version. Barrel Age Speedway Stout from Alesmith. Awesome beer. That's a Cascade Apricot. Came out in 2011, but they called the project when they started it. So it's a 2010 project. Another Hess uh, Torulus. Petrus Age Pale, nice sour, cheap sour. Cascade Creek, that's a 2011 release. 2012 Chocolate Rain from the brewery, amazing beer. Another Alesmith beer, Barrel Age Wee Heavy. Another one of those Highway Scotch Ales, that's the Batch 2 Wagner Blend, or version number two. And then Hebrew Funky Jubilation. So that's a, a barrel, blend of barrel aged beers from then. 
All right, so here's another nice box of beer. We have Phantom. I think that's 11, 2011 or 2012. I don't know. Best Buy is uh, 2013, but it's the older label. Jolly Pumpkin La Priscilla. It's a 2011 bottling. Another bottle of Kopi Lewick Barrel Aged Speedway Stout. 2012 Chocolate Rain. That's a 20. 10 uh, Victory at Sea, 2012 Mother of All Storms from Pelican, that's this year's, or I should say 2012's phenomenal batch. Four Calling Birds from the Brewery, 2012 Oats Heart, two bottles of 2012 Black Tuesday, the other one is right here, 2011 Abyss, and then the, I showed you this before but it's going in this box, uh, 12th Anniversary Old Rasputin. All right, this next box has a lot of cork and cage bottles. Cascade Apricot 2012 project, or 2011 project. Wire Baca Reserva, that's also a 2011. Ale Smith, uh, this is Barrel Age 2010 Decadence. That was the old ale. That's a phenomenal beer. Uh, that's Lost Abbey Saints Devotion. That's the uh, Brett edition, you know, uh, Devotion with Brett in it. Uh, I got two bottles of the Tilquin Old Goose. This is the 2010 2011. I believe that was the first release. We got two 750s of that. It's the second batch of Odell Deconstruction. Two bottles here of the brewery's Burley Gourd. Let's see. Uh, Timmerman's Old Goose Lambicus. Let's see how that ages. Victory Auto. And lastly, Cascade Blueberry which is uh, the 2012 project. All right, so we go next box. That's a 2011 Mother of All Storms. Not quite as good as the 2012 batch, but that's aging pretty well. Carl Strauss 21st Anniversary Ale. Firestone Walker Double DBA. Brewery Four Collingbirds, another one of those. 2012 Oceus from the brewery. Genesis uh, 1550 from Hebrew. I reviewed that. That could be, definitely could use some more age. Two bottles of the brewery's batch 500 Grand Felk Ale Road. The other one's right here. That's a 2012 Frambois de Amorosa from Lost Abbey. And I have three bottles of the 2011 batch of Cuvée de Tommy, which I bought free at the time because I thought it was way better than the 2010, which was a big disappointment. So that's this box. So this has definitely been fun because I forgot about some of these beers for sure. Especially these I got in trades. Like the Spunny Nose Really Old Brown Dog Ale. I believe that's their old ale. Forgot about that one. There's another 2012 Frambois de Amorosa. Another Highway 78 Scotch Ale, but the number first one. 2011 Sea Monster. That's the uh, farmhouse version of Jester King's Black Metal. Marshall Zukas from Cigar City. My other bottle of 2010 Decadence from Ailsmith. God, I love that beer. Alpine, shame on you. Really shame on uh, them for producing that beer. It's not very good. Saison du Buff Red Wine Barrels from Stone. Hoping the red wine barrels kind of have some Brett in there and that beer will kind of go funky with more time. Gravitation from Smarty Nose, another beer we got in the trade. Here's the uh, regular uh, 2011 Decadence from Ale Smith. That's the Maple Smoked Barley Wine. And then Batch 5 Beatification from Russian River. All right, so last box of this particular video. It's going to have a lot of Kunin beers. Let's go down the line here. I have two 2012 Barrel Age 4Ds. The other one's right here. And then I have two... 2011 barrel aged Kuhn and 40s. It's the other one there. And then coming down the line here, I have three of the regular 2011 40s. And then thanks to Daniel, I have a lone bottle of 2010 Kuhn and 4D. Then we have Kunin's Pumpkin Braggot from 2011. And a 2012, uh, another bottle of a few shillings too many. Then uh, what? Best Letter in 12 from The Brick. Just drank one of these last night, and that's doing well with some more age on it. And then a Captain Lawrence Hops and Roses, which is a very cool beer. I've had it a few times now, so I'm going to cellar this one for a little longer. So that's going to wrap up this 
uh, section, what is this, part three or whatever I'm on, um, there's going to be at least two or three more parts. So we'll uh, see. Stay tuned. Cheers.